arousals or transient shift uh, in EEG frequencies that um, are thought to uh, reflect poor sleep quality. Uh, we know that with aging, this um, the amount of arousals during the night increase, and we also know that um, in some sleep disorders such as uh, sleep apnea or um, periodic limb movement syndrome, uh, there's an increased amount of those arousals throughout the night, and we know that many many years before um, developing cognitive symptoms of Alzheimer's disease there are already changes happening in the brain, so namely the, the accumulation of tau protein and of the formation of beta amyloid plaques. Um, and we think that sleep and wakefulness regulation is associated with the accumulation of those proteins in the brain. So there's a, a growing body of evidence um, showing that, for instance, sleep disruption leads to increased uh, levels of those proteins in the brain. In, in animal models as well as in humans. Um, but it, it is the first time that we link really uh, sleep microstructure fragmentation uh, to, uh, to those protein accumulation. So we have found that um, the number of arousals you have during the night is linked to uh, tau protein accumulation in the brain. And that is really interesting because we know that tau protein starts aggregating in subcortical regions which, are, which we know are involved uh, in sleep and wakefulness regulation. So that's uh, really interesting uh, to, to find that. So we have found um, an, increased, that an increased number of arousals uh, is linked to um, higher tau protein deposition in the brain, that is, uh, in healthy older individuals. Um, we also looked at cognition, so uh, we have uh, an extensive cognitive testing battery, um, but there was no link with uh, arousers and, uh, and cognition, but we have found that um, kind of grosser sleep fragmentation, that is by awakenings, is linked to uh, poor performances uh, in, uh, in cogn cognitive uh, domains. This is still an ongoing study, we are about halfway through, um, and we have many, many other information that we can dig in. So we have really extensive cognitive testings. Uh, we also have uh, markers of allostatic load, of cognitive reserve. Um, my, one of my colleagues presented yesterday um, results about cortical excitability as well. Um, so we can, yeah, just put all of that together. Um, and it would be also interesting later on to to have maybe uh, longitudinal studies that could show if if uh, if the link is bidirectional and yeah or which which com comes first. So it's the first time that someone really is interested in uh, sleep microstructure uh, fragmentation, um, and as I said, it's really interesting uh, to to find that, especially th this link with tau protein, um, as yeah it. Uh, as it deposits first in, in region in subcortical regions and subcortical regions uh, are involved in sleep and wakefulness regulation. The only thing is uh, we do not know yet is it the chicken or the egg so um, as always is it arousals that cause higher tau protein deposition in the brain or is it tau protein deposition that causes higher um, increased arousals amount during the night.